hello guys on today's tips we are going to look at microsoft calendar on my previous video i did mention and i show how to text and receive messages on microsoft outlook today we are just going to hover around microsoft outlook calendars now yesterday on my video i did mention how to text and receive messages on outlook microsoft which is here so today we are just going to live from texting and receiving messages to the calendar which is right in front of me so if you haven't watched my video on how to text and receive messages on outlook calendars please check my list of videos now on calendars as you can see today today is the 20, uh, 29th of september which is right here right in front of me and right here on uh, my top left hand corner you see new event you see today on this arrow the right this arrow you can click here to go to the next to be the last month you can go backward if i want to move forward to any other month uh, i can just click here to go to any month if you want to schedule any appointment so today we are still on 29 september 2021 so on my top right hand corner here as you can see the, these are the months if you want to choose the days of your appointment, you can choose the days here. If you want to schedule an appointment, say let's say school week, you can click here. Week, months, but this is how you use calendars. If you don't want to, you can just go back. Click and then you go back to your previous calendar. Good. So now, how do you schedule an appointment or how do you schedule an event in Outlook? calendars you click on calendars click on calendars and then you check the dates you check the dates here by clicking new events when you click on new events let's say you have an appointment you want to have a meeting with your clients or maybe you want to have a school meeting or you want to have a business meeting just give a meeting your title the meeting title here you say um, let's say first meeting meeting session first meeting session good and then here you add invitees it is optional you can click on this optional button you add invitees you can add invitees here it's up to you optional invitees you can see add optional invitees you click and then here right down here you are going to see the date and the the day the month and the year if you don't want to you want to change it just come here and change the date let's say i want my meeting to 11 a.m until which is 29 uh, until what uh let's say 1 p.m and if i want the meeting to hold on all day i just click here on all day as you can see right here my meeting is scheduled and then here if i want to remind if i want to add a location or a room i just click here and add the location of the place where i am actually i'm in uh, in right Ed. i can add my location here and then i add to the calendar but now to remind me a day before let's say you want to remind yourself before the meeting you just click on reminder a day of event the day of the event you can click a reminder or you can click one week before or you add an email reminder let's say you click on one day before you have a reminder of the the meeting outlook will actually remind you that you have a meeting and then here to add an online meeting you have to tell them if you say there a meeting you want to tell you are you going to have a meeting on skype or teams let's say i want to have on skype you click here you add the skype and then here you can add any note or description of the meeting or you attach let's say you want you have a powerpoint presentation or you have to attach a video where people are going to watch your clients are going to watch or your, your members of the company are going to watch you just click on this attach button here yeah you browse this either you browse is either you browse on the computer or you browse on the cloud or upload and share i'm going to remove my powerpoint presentation yes i'm going to check on this first meeting session I have a reminder today already. So now let's say uh, I choose this file. 
let's just offload just this just offload any file of your choice based on my meeting schedules will be attached how do you want to share this file how do you want to attach a copy yes skip good this is the attachment this is how you schedule a meeting on calendars outlook calendars you attach your file so that all those who have invited will see actually see the file and then they know the agenda of the meeting before the previous day of the meeting you can schedule a meeting on any date of your choice and then right down here you can see if you set a picture an online picture or any picture that you have saved on your desktop here you can include an emoji just by clicking here you can add any emoji of your choice it's up to you here i had the formatting options this is pen you can bold you can italic you can underline yeah these options this is how you schedule it. at the end of the day when you're done with this you just click on send so when you send it actually goes to all the members of the you have uh, you have meetings or all the members of your company which you have actually invited good so this is how you schedule and send uh, an appointment with your meeting or if you don't want to do this if you don't want to send by this you can still share here on the top right hand corner or you can print you can still print here or you add an attachment yes when is the first meeting you can add an attachment here you can see this is my meeting this is the date yes guys so this is how you use calendars in outlook microsoft to send and schedule meetings on any occasion that you want right down here you can see you can schedule a birthday you can go to calendar say you, you, you send your holidays birthdays events and all the likes so guys uh i hope you have learned something from these calendars if you were able to set your own dates on outlook calendars please go to the comment section give me your thoughts on the comment section if you like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.